Can you tell me what your name is and what you do? Am I looking here? Yeah. Okay. Or, right, well, no, look at me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my name is Nigo Montoya. Come, my love, I'll tell you a tale of a boy and girl and their love story. If I were to talk about my art, I mean, where I would probably start is, it's just the love of the process. Um, I love I love to draw and I love to I love to make pictures and I've done it in a lot of different ways. Um, this is a new way. This is a way that seems to be sticking, and I really really love it. And it seems like there's a lot of room to grow in in this direction, and I'm just excited to explore it. I was a digital artist for many years, and so what I what I do is is I'll take things into Photoshop, and you know and mock up something like you know, something like this, which is obviously very, very rough and unfinished. But I'll take that, and it's just, a, it's just a loose map to put on here. And then I start to build on top of that. And a lot of this, a lot of the stuff that happens on top of that is just, you know, instinct or um, artistic license. I've always been a little bit of a process junkie, maybe, maybe a little bit to, to my detriment. You know, but with this, it's all about, you know, it's all, it's all process. So every time I pour a new layer, I'll take a picture. Um, and then I'll prep it and put it on here. Now I can't see on here necessarily what's underneath, so I'll take that picture of the clear layer, put it in Photoshop, and sort of try to figure out what the next move is gonna be for me on any particular piece. So this has a few layers underneath, and what I do is I sand this down, um, and this is a pretty rough, a rough surface, but on, on this you can actually get, it's like, it's like drawing on paper, you get a really nice line quality. The problem that I discovered is you can't see anything underneath. And I found this transfer paper, so if things get too opaque, I'll actually put that back on. And I'll take something like this, put the transfer paper underneath, and then transfer the drawing back on. And what you can't see actually under here is that there's, there's other portraits. And when it gets revealed, uh, you know, when you pour the, the next layer on, it all gets revealed. And it's, it's this really interesting process too, because because I'll, I'll work and I'll work and I'll work and I'll go, okay, I think we're in a good place. And then I'll pour the resin on and go, oh no, this needs, okay. That's when I started realizing that I needed more and more layers. And then it just became this process of, of finding ways to have these layers interact with each other and um, different kinds of uh, brush strokes and different kinds of effects, uh, different kinds of materials using pencil and different kinds of paint, oil and acrylic and gold leaf, lots of gold leaf. It's not a roadmap, you know, it's not, it's not a set path. It's not like, okay, Google Maps, tell me how to get to the end of the painting. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it doesn't work that way. I think that's, I think that's how you evolve as an artist, is that, you, is that you learn how to make the most out of your accidents. If you don't, then you're just doing the same thing kind of over and over again. And yeah. if you're not willing to make accidents, then you're not willing to grow. What's so exciting for me about the, the resin work is that in, in doing it with these layers, is that the process shows in the finished work. I mean, you literally see each step of the process as you went along. You can't necessarily see it in, in, in full Technicolor, but you can see the, the layers and you can see as I went along what I was doing. I mean, that's a little bit of a fairy tale. Like, you know, y yes, you know, I am making this work for myself. Certainly I'm a working artist and like, I, I hope and want people to like the work and to buy the work because that's yeah. essential for me to make more of the work. Yeah. Um, but it is, it is, a, it is a very fulfilling process for me to sit here and to, and to come up with ideas and things that I want to say on the, on the canvas. You know, it's, it's interesting that as I think we all make our work, we go through different periods in our lives where we have more or less time and more or less space to make these things. I think that when I'm making my best work, it's when <laughs> I have somehow freed myself of these other constraints. If I can give myself permission, because it's not even about necessarily finding time, because we can all find time. I mean, I met a guy last week who made work in prison while he was literally fighting for his life. So we can all make time. It's about giving ourselves, I think, permission. Um, and over the past couple of years, I've gotten better and better at giving myself kind of the permission to say, it's okay to be doing this. It's, it's okay to be an artist. It's okay to, to make this work and have this be your life. Because um, it feels like a luxury uh, in, in, in a lot of ways. Even though it's hard and it's a struggle and you don't make the money that you want to be making and all of these things, but to give yourself the permission to do this thing that brings you so much joy and to believe that it brings other people joy, whether or not that belief is founded. I think that's the key, is that permission that you give yourself.
I think just in, in all of this, the thing, the thing that I'm, I'm very, very grateful for is, you know, my friends and my community and the people who see me at my worst. The people who, that guy. Like as an artist, we're bearing our souls, right? And that takes practice. You don't just do that in a vacuum. I mean, you, kids do it, and then you forget because society is like, you should look this way and do act this way. But I think if we have that community of trusted friends, or even just just one trusted friend, who you know you can be your most vulnerable, your ugliest, your worst self, and your best self. If you have that person that you can literally expose everything to, that's what you need to be an artist. <laughs>